Hey everybody, Michael Albini here. Um, I got a call asking to say a few words about the 30th anniversary of Nelson's landmark record after the rain. Uh, the members of Taiketo were very happy to be part of that era. The first time we saw the video for Love and Affection, we were actually finishing up our debut record in LA. And a few short weeks later, we got the call from John Kaladner at DGC, our label, to possibly do some shows with Nelson who at the time, I believe they were charting on their single, their album, and their video. So it was a pretty big deal. So as we were label mates, I think um, three of the first bands to sign to DGC, which was David Geffen's spinoff label, was Nelson, Taiketo, and some college unknown band from uh, the West Coast called Nirvana. Those were the first three bands on the label. So when we got the call, uh, we jumped at the chance. We were told we could open up for them if we made it halfway across the country in one day. So we rented the van and headed west. So um, the next day we played in front of about 12,000 people. And on the way to that first show, I remember our managers telling us that um, it was our first support on a big stage like that. And they just said, you guys are going to get pissed on. These opening bands always short sets, no production. You know, you do what the headliner says and that's it. So here we're walking into Nelson, who is Hollywood royalty, rock and roll royalty. So we're thinking, as we're pulling up to this arena, we're like, these guys are gonna be dicks. <laughs> so we walk in and we're very pleasantly surprised. The nicest gentlemen, their headset was basically, if the support band does good, the crowd will be revved up and they'll be ready for us even better. So. If you talk about rolling out the red carpet, we were able to do our full show, use our full production. Uh, they wore Taiketo t-shirts when they played, and it showed a lot of confidence in them as headliners. And then a few years later, when we became headliners in our own right, we took that mantra with us, that let's make this a team effort on the night, let's build each other up, make each other shine. And that tour was probably one of my favorite memories as a professional musician. We spent the better part of that summer uh, touring around the country, open air festivals, great adventures, Six Flags, you name it. Let's say 10 to 15,000 seaters a night. And every single night the band delivered. And I think Love and Affection was a massive hit at that time. So it was a very impressive tour to be on and we couldn't thank the guys enough. Uh, fast forward many years, now I'm a, a booking agent, entertainment agency here in New Jersey, and I had the opportunity to hire Nelson as now as a booking agent. And my wife was a big fan. We went to pick him up at the airport, and I was telling him the stories about this crazy tour we did in the early 90s. And I said, they're probably not even gonna remember me. I was the drummer in the support band. We picked, it was like a, not a day had passed. Hugs, rolled out the red carpet for my wife, hugging her, just made her feel like family overnight. So uh, it's a very momentous occasion for these guys. 30 years is quite an anniversary, and um, the people behind the record are just as impressive as the musicians and the music on that record. So on behalf of everybody in Taiketo, I wanted to wish you guys the happiest of three decades with an epic album. And uh, let's make some new ones and hear some more stuff, guys. Love you. Thank you for the opportunity of a lifetime that you gave us and for uh, making some fantastic music. Take care and congratulations. Bye.